Hey, it's Tom Collins, 8figurebusiness.com. Great to be with you again, shooting videos all day today and having fun with it. Uh, today, I want to tell you about my 8 Figure Bootcamp, 8figurebootcamp.com. We're going to have a, another one come up here in the next month or so. Uh, the dates are with this post, wherever it is, on YouTube or the blog or Facebook, wherever you see it, probably all those places. But uh, today, what I want to do is, is just give you a quick tip um, on back-end marketing strategies. So one of the things we cover at the boot camp is we go through 27 back-end marketing strategies for people to that they can implement in their business. So a lot of people know that I come from the PMI, the Utah Tail Sales, the coaching world, and they go, oh yeah, your back-end is coaching. Well, uh, let me just share with you. We used to take someone's leads or produce our own leads and then we used to call and sell them coaching. And that was really all we had to do back in 2001, 2002, 2003. And then times changed. Advertising costs got to be a lot more. There became some other opportunities. And so what happened was we started adding steps to our marketing strategy so that we could, one, pick up more customers than just the people who bought coaching because over 90% of the people at the time were not buying coaching from us. We, we fixed most of that, by the way. And, but as well, we thought, well, gosh, what about the other 90% of people? They still like the guru. They still like the program. Aren't there other things we can do where we can make money with, with the program? So one of the secrets to our success of PMI from going from you know, 10, 20, 50 million dollars a year to 100, 150, 180 million dollars a year was being able to add multiple steps. So at the boot camp, you're going to learn 27 back-end strategies um, to, you can implement into your business. So if you're an internet marketing guy, typically, and I've shown this before, typically what happens is you have a launch, you have some upsells, right? You might have even a big ticket, 2K, something like that, and then you put people on your list and you send your buddies offers, but rarely do you do your own thing unless it's a big launch again. There's not enough of this off to the side, right? And this should give you guys enough ideas of keep bringing people back, keep them part of your fold. The more products you have to offer, the more likely you'll sell. And, and I know there's a yin and a yang to that. And not everyone is going to do the kind of coaching that we did at PMI. Coaching is a huge thing and all of the variations and all of the continuity uh, pieces that you can put on. Every little technique uh, really starts to add up. And the most important part of all of this is when you have this, these kind of strategies and you say, hey, we're going to do 53 things over the next three years with the customer you start to realize that every customer you acquire, there's a, a long-term relationship. So Joe Polish used to make fun of us. He'd go, you know what, guys? You guys are awesome at PMI. You put up big dollars, but you only sell coaching to people once. He goes, I have a coaching group where people have signed up eight years in a row, year after year after year after year. We took that to heart. Really made a big difference in our business, and I hope that tip, at, the, at a minimum, in, in addition to a couple of other these, would help. If you're curious about 8figurebootcamp.com, go check it out. Uh, give me a call. I'm accepting applications personally. Uh, and if you're referred, it's, it's better. Uh, if we don't know each other right now, we should get to know each other. So anyway, if you have any questions about the back-end strategies, give me a call. Shoot me an email. Catch me on social. Or go check out 8figurebootcamp if that's something that you're curious about. Talk to you soon.